Okay, so this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but couldn't get at this bolt any other way. So I used a uh, used the cutoff wheel, cut a couple of slots, and a uh, a relief cut down on the bottom here, and used a uh, a hammer, a sledgehammer, and a chisel to crack this thing off. So that I can get at the bolt from the opposite side. So I want to, you know, I'm going to throw out this rotor anyway, so who cares? So I'm going to try drilling this uh, mounting bolt out from the uh, from this side, and then I'll have to get a new mounting bolt because the other, the head, I can't get at, and it's rusted up. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get back. Now, as I get into uh, drilling this out, I wanted to give you a tip. Um, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people. Some people see the words high speed drill, uh, referring to the drill bits. And they think, oh, high speed is as fast as you want. No, high speed is, um, I don't remember what the exact specification is, but it's something along the lines of like, 500 rpm maximum which means that you don't just put it in the drill and gun it as fast as you can because then you just burn it up and overheat and uh, ruin the drill bit and you don't get the job done so what i've done here is i uh i drilled a little bit with a larger bit just so that i could get a centering point for the uh for the bolt now i'm going in with a smaller drill bit and every once in a while you can spritz it with some uh, wd-40 uh which makes a good you know it is not a drilling lubricant as such but it does work and it's what i got on hand so i'm gonna first i'm gonna start drilling this out hopefully um the next size up will force this bolt out of its spot um if not then i just have to keep going a little bit bigger until i get that bolt out if I want to try and save the threads. If I don't worry about the threads, um, I mean, this is a reman, so this is gonna go back. And if I destroy the threads, uh, it might not be accepted, but we'll see what happens. And in the end, you know, getting the job done is worth more to me than, uh, than destroying it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so a couple of things here about removing, uh, removing rusty bolts. In this case, um, it halfway worked as I wanted it to. The whole idea was to try and drill out the center of this, um, this bolt. But as you can see, I was a little bit off center because on this one, anyway, this one, it, uh, you can see it deviated a little bit and ended up cutting through the threads. Um, the other one actually came out pretty well centered and, uh, you can still see part of the bolt in there but the threads are still there too. Um, to make it thin enough and weak enough to succumb to a blow from the, uh, from the sledgehammer. And, and that worked out pretty well. I um, was able to get this monstrosity taken apart. I'll see if I can find that other piece um, so I can throw it out. I also wanted to mention something about safety. Um, notice, I always have um, some kind of eye protection because these these little steel things that come out when you're drilling those things fly everywhere and if one of those gets in your eyes um, I would say from experience it is not pleasant um, to have little pieces of steel removed from your eyes and sometimes they're so small you don't even notice them until later when you're uh, getting really irritated. Um, so anyway, getting this thing apart, I'm gonna blast it with the, uh, with the brush, get this uh, rust scale off, and I uh, guess I'm gonna have to go out and get a couple of bolts, right? We'll get back and hopefully uh, we'll see if we can make some progress on this side soon.